Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video, we will see the fix for Microsoft Exchange Server white screen issue after login. Friends, you may face this issue when you log into the ECP or OWA and you have a white screen. This occurs because if bindings do not have any certificate assigned, it may be installed incorrectly or binding contains incorrect information. You will see the white screen after login. So let's watch the video and see how we can fix the issue. So right now we are on our server. If we go to the exchange admin center and if we try to log in to this admin center, we will see the white screen here. So let me try to accept this and let's try to log in. You can see this is the white screen and if we go and refresh it or if I change it from ECP to OA it will remain the same usually it happens due to the incorrect bindings in IIS or SSL mismatch so we are not able to log into our OA neither on ECP so we have a white screen so we need to fix this so what we can do we can go to the IIS and we can expand this and inside the site we see the default site if we go to the bindings here and you can see these are the default binding the port 80 port 443 and we have the Microsoft Exchange SSL certificate selected this is the default one and if we go to this one you can see the IP address all unassigned and here we have a SSL mismatch so we will go and select the Microsoft Exchange this is a default one came with the installation of exchange we do not have a third party SSL right now so in HTTPS we have selected the default SSL and in the backend exchange backend you can see if we go and see here the IP address that is localhost we can go and select it as all unassigned and make sure the Microsoft exchange certificate is selected the default one so let me close this and let's try to restart it once and you can just uh, restart the IIS service by this IIS reset and it will attempt to stop the service and then it will restart the service. So once it is restarted we will try to check our ECP and OA. See I refreshed it and the OA is working. And let's go and try to check with the ECP as well. I will hit enter. Let me try to log into the admin. And now you can see we do not have a white screen. The white screen has gone and we are successfully able to navigate the things. And if I go and try to resign it, it seems to be working fine now. You may note the default settings of these bindings like port 80 port 443 with the localhost port 443 with the all unassigned so this is going to the localhost and this star one is going to the all unassigned ip this is the setting by default so i hope the video was useful let's meet in a next video thanks for watching if you enjoy this video and want to see more don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.